Hello and welcome to part two of today's video. Um, earlier we looked at the Tapari guns that Tapari kindly sent us and um, we also saw Mix 1640, was it? John Deere, classic John Deere. Beautiful machine. He'll be um, at Penniston um, tractor run with that tomorrow from Yummy Yorkshire. Um, but yeah, now we're going to get using those Tapari 8 guns, hopefully, fingers crossed, and we'll just have a look at this, um, this vehicle that's turned up. So it's a Range Rover Villar. Very nice, 72 plate. So you press to open it, and uh, so if you shut, if you press that, no, it doesn't. Uh, oh, we've got mint imperials in here already. So what is it? Is it like uh, the new Freelander? I don't know. Good afternoon, Rich. Nobody's called Rich here. Else it's got a fairly decent boot on it. Of course, it's all push button and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it does look nice inside. We'll give it that. My mum says she, uh, she don't like it because she hits her head when she gets in it. Can you imagine her getting in the S3? Ah, that's better. So you press press lock again, unlock again, and then all the handles come out. These are a good idea for like aerodynamics and stuff, but how long will they last? Eh? Ben had to change his door locks, didn't he, the other day, and his, uh, on his um, Discovery, he's got the Discovery 4. Um, and yeah, the reason that we've got this is because my mum's discovery's broke down. Or they took it in for repair and um, something's broke as they're repairing it and they can't get the part until later on in the week. So she's got this for a bit. Um, but I don't know. I don't really get it. It's like a sporty version of something. Where does it fit in? like cash kai size is that what it's doing taking over that sort of size but then that's a discovery sport isn't it i don't know is it a discovery sport but just a bit flasher where did, i don't know let me know in the comments how it fits in so now we've got both of the dose guns lined up so this is putting a pill, pink milkshake which is um actually flukicide in at the front and this one will be putting the pour on wormer on at the back. Business. And action, Andy. So that's it, easy peasy. Just presses the trigger. Weighs it out correctly. Gets the blue one. I mean, we need a better, we're gonna sort this out a little bit. It's a bit E. Robinson at the minute, but. Done? Yeah. Nice. How did you like it? Was it all right? Did you like the milkshake? He's licking his lips, so it must must mean he likes it. <laughs> so Andy's got it here now. That easier than uh, your big grab handle thing that we had before? It's like two-handed, wasn't it, last time? And it was like... Oh, yeah, you had to hold it, yeah. Oh, yeah, one-handed. Oh, so you like it better like that, then? Yeah. I thought you were going to be like, no, it needs to be, the, I need to hold the gun in one hand and the lance be in another. No, you prefer it. Good, I like it. Look at that. No hand strain, just job done. Efficiently, effectively. Cattle are getting exactly the right dose. Do you understand that? You're getting exactly the right dose. We're not overdosing or underdosing, which is fantastic. Oh. Go on and Andy, tell us about this one. You're desperate to tell us about this one. H on the farm today. <laughs> We think H is a famous rapper, supposedly, a current famous rapper. Well, we've got him on the farm today in cow form here. <laughs> he's getting automatically dosed. We don't like H, though, because he's absolutely mental wild. He's not mental wild, he has got attitude. He's got H in his tag. That's how we keep calling him H. We're on just getting out some cattle now. Come on. And weigh them and see what they are. 
Yeah, my dad's just got back with a few more, so we'll get these tipped off into their nice new pen with fresh straw and hay. Oh, that's not a cow, it's handy. Come on, babies. That's it. Steady. Find a bit of food. Uh, yeah. Do you want? Yeah. Right, I'm on just getting the dodgy bales down now. I'm trying my best. They are really dodgy. Let me get out of here. Can't get them down. Nice. I needed to straighten them up. Need a twisting headstock. Well, this is this is probably gonna require some two-handed operation now. Got them round and I've just been unstacking them off the trailer. Ready for tomorrow? Make the job easy. Before I get all noisy and start this mixer, we'll do mixer mentions. And it's a happy birthday to Hayley Harrison, who always shouts morning and coffee time, um, supposedly randomly at um, a mum, dad, Maggie and Peyton. So um, yeah, happy birthday. Thank you very much for donating to Yorkshire Ambulance. Fantastic. And um, I'll crack on with a mix now. If you want to get somebody's name onto the mixer, all you got to do is click the link in the description below. It's just giving. The money goes straight to the air ambulance. I don't get my grubby little mitts on it at all. So, um, yeah, they can just get it straight away and use it for whatever they want to do, which is brilliant. Right. Let's start the boost. It's going. Just putting the last few bits in the mixer, weighing it in. Oh, you know what it is, and you know it's still single. What, 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 what's this? No, it's not. Although I think, to be honest, I think it's a different one. Oh, that's nice to see. I hope they're not trying to nest in the bales though. So me dad and Andy have fixed that. But then another part snapped, the string snapped, the uh, spring snapped. What a job. So we're back on to using the backup one. What's happened is Andy's welded that up, done a, a decent job of it. Well, it's, it's worked anyway. But then the spring snapped. <laughs> oh. oh well, back to the drawing board. Time to pack everything away anyway. The big beastie 215. We love it. Oh, it's like sitting on the throne. Not the not big mix throne, not like the bathroom. But the actual throne. Look at that, the power. What I have just noticed with these markers though. This. The wobble on that. You can't tighten them because they're like riveted. So what do people do? Take rivets out and re-bolt them? I don't know. Do you think Andy? Andy's got an yeah, idea. You could have like a bar in there, shouldn't you? Slow it out and you can walk around. <laughs> It'd be a little bit easier. <laughs> oh. what, you, what would you call it? The Andy bar? The Andy bit? <laughs> yeah, I've got WD-40, I'll try and make them easier. <laughs> I've just been talking about being on front, sat in that chair. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, Andy, eh? That makes it easier, doesn't it? That is easier, yeah. yeah. You have to climb up, but make sure you've got uh, three points of contact at all times. Cut, I'll cut it out. <laughs> Anyway, we've stopped messing about with flags and stuff and uh, we got everything in the shed in a sort of fashion. So that is about it from me and Andy today. Um, it's gone five and a half again, isn't it? Yeah. yeah nice. No Mick, that's what it is. No Mick yeah. helping us today, is it? Well, Mick done. Not the other Mick. Oh yeah, other Mick did come actually. Yeah, yeah. We had one Mick here at least. Um, Big Mick though is back tomorrow. He's back from Whitbit, so I don't know if he's going to have some stories to tell or what. But um, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what he's got to say. See how his mood is. See, yeah. See how. See if he's if he's uh, night away. Or I don't even know if it's two nights away. Oh, 
No, I think it was just one. It, we'll see if that's changed his mood for the better. And um, yeah, we'll see what it's like. But yeah, if you've liked it, remember to press the like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Um, check out the merchandise, joeseals.com. And Andy, what's it called? Crazy Bull. Crazy Bull. Clothing. Clothing. Dot co dot uk. He's not gone for the dot com, guys. He's gone for the co dot uk. I know, but it's just dot com, innit? It's like, oh. I, would, I would really like, I could have chose between the two, and it's like dot com. Just yeah. like, I don't know. I don't know why. What do you prefer? Why are we talking about this? But anyway, what do you prefer? Dot com or dot co dot uk? Right, we're off. Bye. Before I do go, tomorrow um, there is a tractor run on in our local area um, going through Penniston and ending at Yuma Yorkshire which is like a farm shop um, where I think they've got like some stalls and bounce castle or what, you know, stuff for the family. Um, I'm not promising that I can get there. I know Mick who was um, here this morning with the John Deere's, John Deere Mick came in the daft with me yesterday. He's taking some tractors up there so say hello to him if you see him. Um, and I'm hoping in the afternoon I might be able to get there, but um, like I say, it's, it's dubious. It's really tight on time tomorrow, but um, if I can, I'll be there. If not, then I hope everyone has a fantastic time there and, uh, and sees loads of tractors. But I just wanted to plug it in, and uh, it's all for a good cause. I think it's for like a children's charity or something, so yeah. Right, anyway, I'm off. Bye.